Welcome to Storytime with Miss Melange. The title of our book is Apple Pie, 4th of July, written by Janet S. Wong, pictures by Margaret Chodos Irvine. Seven days a week, 52 weeks, 364 days a year, and 365 in a leap year, our store is open. Christmas is the only day we close. Even on Thanksgiving, we open the store. Even on New Year's Day. Even today, the 4th of July. I hear the parade coming this way. Boom, boom, boom. I smell apple pie in Laura's oven upstairs and chow mein in our kitchen. Chow mein? Chinese food on the 4th of July? No one wants Chinese food on the 4th of July, I say. Fireworks are Chinese, father says, and hands me a pan full of sweet and sour pork. I hear the parade, boom, boom, boom. I hear the parade passing by. Noon, and customers come for soda and potato chips. One o'clock, and they buy ice cream. Two o'clock, the egg rolls are getting hard. Three o'clock, ice and matches. Four o'clock, and the noodles feel like shoelaces. No one wants Chinese food on the 4th of July, I say. Mother piles noodles on my plate. My parents do not understand all American things. They were not born here even though my father has lived here since he was 12, even though my mother loves apple pie, I cannot expect them to know Americans do not eat Chinese food on the 4th of July. So I straighten the milk and the videos and sample a few new candy bars until five o'clock when two hungry customers walk inside for some Chinese food to go. I tell them no one No one came, so we ate it up ourselves. But they smell food in the kitchen now. And mother walks through the swinging door holding a tray of chicken chow mein. And father follows her step for step with a brand new pan of sweet and sour pork. And three more people get in line. 11 more at 6 o'clock, 9 at 7, 12 by 8. More and more and more and more. Until it's time to close the store. Time to climb to our rooftop chairs way up high beyond the crowd. Where we sit and watch the fireworks show. And eat our apple pie. And that's the end of Apple Pie 4th of July. Our main character learned a surprising lesson at the end of the story, didn't she? My question to you is what do you like to do on the 4th of July? Go ahead and place your answers in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe so you can be notified of new stories. Thanks for watching. Bye.